Well, it is back again, and it's time to do another re-review, a movie I've already reviewed a while back. So, I was pretty harsh on the movie, Itsy Bitsy, when I reviewed it for Halloween, but I decided that with uh, nothing being nothing to do, well, there's things I could be doing, but with the weather being wet, and it's all this uh, virus that should not be named. It's time to do a movie review. The old fashioned. So this will just be the intro. This will be me showing the movie I'm talking about. The rest of it though will be screenshots. So yeah. Ah, the creature feature. Something that's been a staple of the 1950s. Back when new everyone thought nuclear bombs were gonna make giant creatures pop up out of the ground making insects and spiders big, but this movie's a little bit different. Itsy Bitsy did something a little bit different. The movie's actually about a single mom who moves to New York in the countryside with her children, who they're sitting in the guest house of the a guest house for, as she works as a private nurse for a guy named Walter. But Walter and his associate Akiba have a shady deal where they bring home an ancient uh, mythological spider, prehistoric spider, a cave spider that's been pretty much locked up and sealed away for thousands of years or so. And in your typical movie fashion, someone either, I think one of the kids either breaks the pot and then it unleashes the ancient angry spider. This movie was released by uh, Screen Factory, also known as Shout Factory. Uh, Shout Studios, Scream Factory, Strange Vision, and Through the Line Films. It was directed by Mika Gallo, and for the most part, they never actually show the creature until the end of the movie. And it looks like one of those giant, um, like turret spider species. Is some type of spider that can hide underground and live pretty much. Out of sight. You wouldn't see it, this thing. But the creature comes out and starts attacking the kids and the mom. And they kill the spider and defeat it at the end. And everyone survives. And you get your typical happy ending for the movie. But for the most part, this film isn't really all that bad. It's not... Well, it's on a level the visual effects are actually very good. It's kind of like that movie Arachnophobia. In a sense that you're basically watching the people fighting a giant spider. But this will be all for this review. And I thank you all for watching.